In this video, a quick tip on using the auto exposure, auto focus functions on your iPhone to level up your next photos. Okay, I'll see you after the intro. How's it going everybody? Phoebus Byron here and welcome to the Leisure Geek channel. And in this channel, I like to give quick tips, quick tricks for new photographers and also busy photography enthusiasts to help them level up their photography. Also, these videos will be either quick tutorials or also give some examples for these tips and tricks through my interests, hobbies, and even a little bit from my personal life. Okay, so let's get started on auto exposure, autofocus for the iPhone. First, let me show you how you can use the iPhone to autofocus on a particular subject. By simply tapping on top of that subject on your iPhone, the camera will focus on that subject. At the same time, the iPhone will also auto-expose the entire scene. You will also notice an orange box surround the subject which you tapped on. Watch as I go back and forth between two subjects in this example. The closest subject being an interface plug for a microphone and a pair of white headphones. Another function that is handy is the exposure slider, which is to the right of the focus box. As you can see, if you slide the icon, the light icon down, you decrease the exposure of the entire image. Also in reverse, if you slide the icon up on the, to the right of that focus box, you actually also increase the exposure of the entire image. In this example, Watch how I focus on the plug and adjust the exposure up and down. Once you have your focus and exposure set to your preference, you can then take your picture. What you also notice is that after you take a picture, the auto exposure and auto focus function will actually reset for your next picture. Now, what if you wanna take multiple pictures of a preferred subject at your preferred exposure? Well, there's actually another iPhone function that can help you with that and it's called the AEAF lock. Auto exposure, auto focus lock. And well, let me show you how to do that. As the name of the function pretty much describes itself, you can lock focus on your preferred subject as well as the exposure. Simply hold down your finger on the screen at the subject you want to focus on and wait for the AEAF lock notification to show. The camera has now locked focus on the subject. And in this example, it is the headphones at the end of the tabletop. You can also see as I move the iPhone away from the headphones, the focus doesn't change. As I move back to the headphones, and as long as I am at the same distance at the time I had locked the focus, the headphones are now back in focus as well. So at this point, I can now adjust the exposure for the scene and take as many pictures as I want. Remember, after you've locked focus, it's very important to keep the distance between your iPhone camera and your subject steady as you take multiple pictures. Now, here's an example of me taking a few photos of my daughter using the AEAF lock function on the iPhone. As you will see here, I use the AEAF lock at her face. Of course, I adjust the exposure and try to get a few shots. Even though she moves left to right on the screen, I do my best to keep the same distance at the time I had set the AEAF lock. She wasn't as playful and didn't feel like smiling much at this time, but here is a shot I chose. And here is a quick before and after a little bit of editing. Well, the funny thing is, after I was done taking those photos, my daughter started to get a little bit more playful and started smiling a little bit more in front of the camera. To be honest, I missed those shots, so lessons learned, keep my camera on just a little bit longer and hopefully cap capture those moments and not miss them. So there you have it. Auto exposure, auto focus, as well as the AEAF lock function on the iPhone. If you like the content I just provided, please hit the link, the like button down below. Also, if you want to get caught up on new content or other content with, with regards to tips and tricks, for all new photographers or busy photography enthusiasts, as well as a little bit of content around my hobbies and interests and a little bit of my personal life, uh, please hit the subscribe button as well down below. 
And if you want to get, go a step further and you want to get notified on all new content I do put up on YouTube, there's also the notification bell. Anyway, again, thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.